Joining me now is James Elder, the spokesperson for the United Nations Children Fund in East Africa. Uh, James, how are aid agencies coping with the influx of refugees from Ethiopia in Sudan? Look, it's always difficult, a crisis at this level, going into areas that are hard to access, there's the urgent need always for food, for shelter, for water. Remembering as well that a crisis like this puts enormous strain onto those host communities, those people who've already been there, who are often the first ones to, to open a door and open a, a sack of grain. So it's very difficult. This is what we do. This is what agencies like UNICEF and UNHCR do. We are frontline responders. But of course, it would be best if all these people could stay safely in their homes. Let's talk about children, James. They are particularly vulnerable in these kind of situations. What should be done to assist them during this conflict? Yeah, it's a great question, Penina. Thank you. Look, the, the communication blackout and general restricted access at the moment into that Tigray region means that we might have as many as a million, up to a million children in need of humanitarian assistance. That's assistance from agencies like us. We know there's up to a million kids who are no longer in school and all the protective elements that requires. Now, let's not forget that malnutrition was already on the rise for kids in Tigray. You had a locust infestation, we have a pandemic and now we have this crisis on top. So UNICEF's grave concern is that if we can't get humanitarian access very, very quickly, if it's not granted, then more and more kids are going to be at risk. That means at risk, that means at risk of dying. Um, the massive malnutrition work that we do in Tigray, we only have supplies on site until next month. So children need that. They also, of course, need protection. They need Penin to be kept out of harm's way at all times in any crisis like this. You've got to make sure that children are you know, not in the firing line. Too often, that's not the case. What about you, James? I mean, organisations such as yourselves, what kind of support is urgently required? Uh, access and safety you know as I said at the start this is what we expect to do we expect to be on the front line we expect to be reaching those people who we are here to serve but humanitarian workers have to be able to do that job so that is that we need we need unfettered and safe access to these places um, so our major priority as UNICEF and other agencies is to reach these civilians, is to reach them and to keep children safe, as I say, to work on malnutrition, to make sure they've got things like life-saving water and food. But for that to occur, we need access and we need safety guaranteed. And that has to happen, well, today, basically, Panina. There is no time to wait for kids who are already suffering or on the move.